Welcome back. Uh, tonight's comedian is one of America's funniest, clean Christian comics. He has appeared on over 20 national TV shows. He's got two popular dry bar comedy specials. They've acquired over 150 million views. A lot of people have been watching. The latest one he's got is called Bible School Dropout. He also is a preacher's kid and an Air Force veteran. Would you please give a big welcome to Dennis Gaxiola. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thank you. What a beautiful audience. Governor, I love the diversity. Oh, you guys have young white people and old white people and <laughs> tall white people and short white people. This is beautiful. <laughs> Where are my veterans at? Where, we got to do a room check. Where's my Army veterans at? Army, give the Army a round of applause. <laughs> Navy, where's the Navy at? Where's my... Give it up for the Navy. Old Navy, anybody wearing Old Navy? <laughs> Marine Corps, where are the Marines? Shh, calm down. I have no Marine jokes. Watch, once a Marine, they don't know when the war ends. I leave them alone. And Air Force, where are my Air Force brothers and sisters? Give it up for the Air Force. We were this close to being in the military, huh? <laughs> oh, you don't realize how tough you aren't until you get out of the Air Force. Then we all go to the VA. I never forget when I took my physical. I saw an older Marine limp by. He goes, Vietnam, took a bullet. I see an Army soldier go by. He goes, Gulf War, shrap metal. I'm standing there with the wrist brace. But I still wanted to act tough. I said, U.S. Air Force, carpal tunnel. <laughs> Email, 05. <laughs> so uh, the biggest part of my uh, going on right now in my life is I remarried my first wife. We got married young, divorced young. And Look at God, 23 years later, we got back together and uh, we're, we're living our best life. Um, we have two anniversaries now. <laughs> the ladies laughed, all the men felt my pain right there. <laughs> Governor, did you know there's an anniversary gift chart out there? Yeah. Most men know 25 is silver, 50th is golden, but there's an actual chart that'll tell you what gift for every year. First year is paper, 50th is golden. They got it wrong from the get-go. <laughs> First year should be golden. You still like each other. <laughs> 50th should be paper. You make it that long, you just write a note. We made it. <laughs> no man wrote this gift chart. If it was a man, it was an old school Mormon. Back when they had multiple wives, they needed a gift chart. <laughs> the wives are getting jealous. How come she got a better gift? Well, she's been here longer, Hannah. Okay. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> We've been back together five years. That's wool on the gift chart. We had never divorced, that's 37 years. That's not just China, that's bone China. That's that high-end China. I can afford wool, I don't know about that bone China. So I compromised, I got her a wool sweater made in China. <laughs> ladies, we get it, you're smarter than us. Clap if you agree, man. The ladies have instincts that we don't have. But all we ask is let us be right every once in a while. <laughs> Sir, wouldn't you like to win one argument a year? Just one. But don't let us be right when you know we're wrong. We're turning left. You know we should go right. Now, go ahead, Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I almost got shot for not listening to my wife. <laughs> not by her, you know. She's Puerto Rican, she would have cut me. But, I was doing prison ministry, and number one rule in California, no blue jeans. All the inmates wear blue jeans. I'm getting dressed. My wife says, why are you wearing blue jeans? I said, they're black. She said, they're blue. I said, they're black. She said, go ahead. <laughs> I get to the correctional facility, and the guard says, can I help you? I said, yes, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm here to speak at the chapel this morning. She said, oh, not today. You're wearing blue jeans. And in that light, I could see my jeans were blue. This prison is five minutes from Costco. I have 30 minutes to go to Costco, buy a pair of black pants, get back. The parking lot's about four blocks away, so I take off running. I have 30 minutes. By the way, if you're leaving the prison and you're wearing blue jeans, <laughs> do not run. And that's what I heard from the guard tower. Do not run. <laughs> I assumed he was talking to somebody on the other side of the fence. So I kept running. The next thing I heard was, if you continue to run, we will be forced to shoot. I looked up and said, me? He said, yes, you. In the blue jeans. You should listen to your wife. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. God bless you. Great to have you thank here. You, sir. Thank you, Governor. You know, we're, we're especially glad that we had you tonight. An Air Force veteran, you've served our country. Yes, sir. Now, did you get into comedy when you were in the Air Force? A young man in leadership school dared me to go on stage because I kept making fun of him, and he was the base uh, talent show winner as a comedian. And uh, he literally changed the... The, the path of my life because I retired in 2005 and now I go into prisons. My dad was But a I bet you don't wear blue jeans when exactly. you Exactly. Yeah. No more blue jeans. Uh, uh, I go to marriage retreats. Um, my dad was a heroin addict saved in prison mm. and the, he went on to preach the gospel for 40 years and Wonderful. now I do, I do those kind of events so God is good. We are so glad you're here. Thank you for your service to the country. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. And if you want to see more, go to Huckabee.tv for all the links directly to him. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.